Hey everybody and welcome to the video. We're going to be talking about a few heavy things today, but by the end of the video I hope to leave you with that light at the end of the tunnel. Stick around. Were you expecting me to be naked? Well you shouldn't, this isn't a TikTok video. At any rate, what we're going to be talking today is COVID-19 and the psychological and sociological impact that it's had on both society as well as the individual. Um, we're going to be covering a couple different resources to go over this topic, and let's just dive right in. An article published by SciPost.org states, New research sheds light on how those with high levels of narcissism, Machiavellianism, psychopathy, and sadism have reacted cognitively and emotionally to the COVID-19 pandemic. The study, published in Personality and Individual Differences, indicates that narcissists and Machiavellians appear to have experienced greater distress from the coronavirus outbreak. But flip the page and head on over to The Independent, and an article titled, Narcissists Less Likely to Experience Stress or Depression, states, While some may view narcissistic personality traits in a poor light, the researchers of the study argue that being a narcissist can lead to positive outcomes. Wait a second, go back. Okay, so we've got two news articles now, one of which states that being a narcissist can lead to a worse psychological impact from stress, and the other one states that it can save you from stress and depression altogether. Right? Okay, let's make some sense here. A personality spectrum model that was advanced by Ernest Toops and Raymond Crystal in the early 1960s and later made famous by Louis Goldberg was defined as the Big Five Personality Trait List. Through research and development, they were able to distill the major personality traits into five main categories. Those categories are conscientiousness, agreeableness, neuroticism, openness to experience, and extroversion. Persons who could be defined as narcissists would also rate high in the traits of openness to experience and extroversion, and as we can see from the list here, being imaginative, spontaneous, sociable, and fun-loving would hardly be described as nefarious traits. Obviously trying to paint the entire picture of how COVID-19 and the pandemic surrounding that has impacted our psychology and our society would be a hard thing to do with just the labels of narcissism. The COVID pandemic may have had a negative impact on narcissistic people, but it drew out something dark and far more than just those people. Overnight, our neighborhoods became police states where community trust reached a sorrowfully low level. Stress and a lack of proper coping skills led to a breakdown in society. It could be argued that the family unit suffered the worst. Marital bonds were tested through both financial and health hazards, while children dealt with a new world where every interaction with a stranger could spell trouble. Stress had found a new home in each of our heads and hearts, and it planned to stay a while. But society had another reaction to the pandemic as well. Everybody remembers the panic at the onset of the pandemic. Store shelves were barren overnight, and essentials like toilet paper almost became a new currency. But the golden rule of do unto others as you'd have done unto yourself emerged in curious ways. This advice paved the way for new acts of kindness that society seemed bursting at the seams to give one another. In addition to this advice, a new idea seemed to be inspiring society. As Aldous Huxley once put it, It's a little embarrassing that after 45 years of research and study, the best advice I can give people is to be a little kinder to each other. Huxley was the author of a book known as A Brave New World, and while he published many other books besides, this is one of his more famous ones. In this book, he describes a dystopian future where people are prone to pleasure more than they are to pursuing purpose and meaning. And as we can see from the COVID pandemic, a lot of our morality and a lot of our purpose and meaning in life was, was called into question. But the COVID pandemic showed us a strength and resiliency that many of us didn't know that we had before. The healthcare industry gave us a beautiful example of the depth and level to which human compassion and empathy can go. Throughout their long and tiring hours, they showed a level of care for the sick patients which earned them the title of hero and heroine. The service industry faced a new reality almost overnight, dealing with face masks while working, wiping down services between every transaction, and experiencing the cutbacks that many companies were forced to make, put the spotlight on how adaptable and innovative we could be to ensure our community's safety. There was one thing which was absolutely certain by the time we realized the magnitude of the pandemic. We're all in this together. And it's a wonderful thing, isn't it, to realize that even without the pandemic, 
we're still all in this together. In life, on this planet, in our communities, or in our families, we're all in this together. Maybe Huxley was right, and sometimes it takes darkness to reveal the light. And maybe it took a pandemic to show how society is ready to be a little kinder to each other.